Charlie picked up the smoking habit from watching people with cigarettes. He mimicked them, and visitors to a South African zoo started throwing him lit cigarettes. Now, it may seem funny, but that's pretty serious. Zoo officials say Charlie's now addicted and hides his cigarettes when handlers happen by, just like humans do sometimes, huh? They're hoping he can quit cold turkey, and they're asking visitors to please keep their cigarettes to themselves. Now, look at this guy. They also say that Charlie's addicted to soda pop. So he's got to pick up all the bad That's habits. That's one bad monkey, I'll yeah. tell you. Japanese researchers have revealed the results of a fascinating memory test. They pitted young chimpanzees against grown-up human beings. Now, does that sound like a fair contest? We counted on Bill Blakemore to find out whether it was. First test. Can chimpanzees count from one to nine in the right order in return for a peanut or other tasty reward? Yes, they can. Now, if you just flash the nine numerals for a moment, then cover them, can a chimpanzee remember where each numeral was and still get the order they were in right? Yes, for another tasty treat. This chimp got this wrong once, but only once. Now, if you flash just some of the nine numerals, then cover them. Can a chimp, A, remember where each was, and B, in the right order, even though some were missing? Yes. Now, can another primate species, the adult Homo sapien, do the same? Well, okay. And again? Uh, well, uh, again? Uh... Again? Uh, <clears throat> one more try? Well, okay. But actually, chimpanzees did much better than humans in this flash and remember test, leaving the Japanese human researchers scratching their heads. One possible theory, chimpanzees care more than humans about peanuts. Bill Blakemore, ABC News. And lest you think they used just one very smart chimp, they actually had six chimps taking the test. You have to stay away. Get away. Run away. Kanji wa monster Go get him. Oh no! Kono game wa oi kakete kuru monster kara nigetari, hantai ni aoiro ni kawatta monster o shikibetsu shite oi kaketari to itta koudo na handan ryoku ga hitsuyou desu. Did you know that 85% of all human beings have a monkey gene? The monkey gene is called the rhesus factor, or RH factor, because it can be traced to the rhesus monkey. Chances are your blood type tests RH positive, which means you've got the monkey gene. If by chance your blood type tests negative for the monkey gene, you are in a small minority of only 15% of the world's population. So what happens when an RH negative woman gets pregnant with an RH positive partner? Her body rejects, attacks, and kills the fetus, unless, of course, there's medical intervention. What is the cause of this strange breeding incompatibility within the human species? Are RH negative people alien in some way? Studies were done to see if there's any difference between RH negative people and RH positive people. The results were shocking. RH negative people commonly have a higher than average IQ, sensitive vision, a lower body temperature, psychic abilities, increased sensitivity to heat and sunlight, and a capacity to stop watches and disrupt electrical appliances. They can't receive blood transfusions from RH-positive donors, and they can't be cloned. They often have reddish hair and blue, green, or hazel eyes. RH-negative people report a feeling of not belonging to the human race. Some even have an extra vertebrae, or an extra rib, 
or a caudal appendage, otherwise known as a tail. その尻尾を見せてください。分かったよ。すると男は立ち上がり、後ろを向き、自分のズボンを下ろし出した。リサとファインは恋を失った。そこにはなんだなんとこれは長い長い尻尾が生えている。それにしてもこの長さ。我々の想像もはるかに超えていた。立ってるんですね。痛くないですか？立っ,っても。全然。痛くないんですね。大丈夫。まさに神秘。世界は広いもんだ。Since Rh negative blood hasn't followed the usual evolutionary path, it must have been introduced from some outside source. Two celebrated authors, Eric von Daniken and Zachariah Stitchen, have uncovered convincing evidence that the outside source was ancient astronauts who genetically engineered the human race. According to von Daniken, the proof lies in the breathtaking megaliths that were developed either by extraterrestrial visitors or by humans who had been taught the advanced scientific knowledge needed to build them. Such artifacts include Stonehenge, the head statues of Easter Island, and the Egyptian pyramids and obelisks. Why did so many ancient cultures with no way of communicating with each other worship these so-called gods and illustrate them in their artwork as astronauts with space vehicles? It's easy to imagine our own astronauts someday encountering intelligent life forms in space who will view us as their gods. On a clear summer's night, when we look up into the diamond-studded heavens, we can't help but contemplate the big questions: Who are we? Where did we come from? Where are we going? The most popular theories about where we came from are evolutionism and creationism. Evolutionists believe that early primates evolved into the missing link, which evolved into Cro-Magnon man, which evolved into us. The Homo sapiens. The big problem with that theory is this: no remains for the missing link have been found. No tools, no fossils, and no artwork. <laughs> <laughs>